Okay, hello and welcome to Wednesday's stream. Uh, yeah, we are doing Star Wars Squadrons. Which is not aligned properly. <coughs> I need like to get some tape or something. Mark on the floor where to park the wheelchair to line up correctly. Be such a useful thing. I wonder. Yeah, someone noticed they got um, put in the corner. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Press any button to start. Where is the any button on a PS4 controller? I don't know, there isn't a reset button on the controller either. No, there should be. Options, share, the PlayStation home button, the touchpad, LR, stuff. On the, on the other side of the controller. There should be a button which you can press to reset. Like ninety percent sure of that. Someone's gotta do it. There have been worse ideas, I guess. This ought to be fun. I'm... It's an honor. Yours, not mine. We can... Yeah, so the, um, the game should make you do uh, some tutorial campaign stuff first. Mm hmm Are you going through that now? Well, I'm just doing the character bit in a second. Uh -huh. um. As I said, there's not too much customization at the start. You can get more through like in-game rewards and whatnot. Uh, hang on, wait, hold on, experience. Yeah, I just went basic. Uh, hang on, sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, it's that guy. Eh. Uh, that guy. Wait, who's that guy? Um. I, I, I'm certain a, um. A ragtag crew uh, that were based off. were based out of a. you know, completely irrelevant planet in the side of the galaxy. You know, and um, dealt with him. Yeah. Totally didn't cost them um, one of the few survivors of Order 66. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, interesting. We've got the um, ships that appeared first in... Uh, oh, Sloan. Nice. Commodore at the minute. Because, um, yeah, by the time of um, Return of the Jedi, she's a Grand Admiral. And heck, um, in um, Battlefront 2... She even makes mention um, when calling the retreat of using Thrawn's maps, which is how um, like her element survived because they were able to use you know mapping that Thrawn had done all the time before. Yeah. Um, yeah, her first appearance was in the Rebels prequel book, New Dawn. Yeah, you'll find there's a few references in this. Uh, yeah, but no, no, in her case, she became a little obsessed with uh, trying to get, uh, trying to catch Kanan. Uh, she also appears in the Kanan comics as well, still trying to pursue. You'll find that another character in the campaign probably has something in common with her then. Well, I mean, the trailers already revealed Hera was going to appear. Well, no, I mean, other than that. Because... They didn't, didn't exactly hide Hera's uh, cameo in a warm council meeting. I don't think you understand yet. Yeah. But then it's not like we're playing with the ghost, so... Yeah, unfortunately. I... Although the ghost would be a bit of a big ship to use, so yeah. it would have been still awesome just to see it in the campaign. Oh yeah. But uh, no, it doesn't I mean, though in theory Hera may not be piloting as much. I mean, when you think about timeline wise, she probably took a big risk piloting in Rogue One. Yeah, she's piloting much in this. Yeah, I mean, well, because obviously, like, um, Rogue One, she'd have just potentially have had her kid. Yeah. So, I mean, she's... Yeah, it's not like the whole situation where... Yes. Oh, okay, I've got to actually boot the computer up. I don't think uh, you actually do. It, it goes through it. No, but it said press X to turn on. Oh, right. I don't know if that's different between the DC or... Wait, he gets a friggin' Inquisitor's tie? What, is the tie intercepted? No, no, the curved wings. Forward sensor, online tracking. Yeah, like the... Cool. Captain Javis, he, he had a... The curved wings were, um... For, yeah, we're on an Inquisitor's TIE advance. Cool. Yeah, if you go back and look, like, that was not a... normal thing. Alright, I didn't realise. Yeah, I mean, you actually, if you get the stream up, you might be able to might get the better view. Oh, we have a Quasar class. Yeah. Okay, like, there was a cup. I do not like the controls. You can change them up a bit. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Is it the whole steering bit? Yes. Yeah. What was it preset to? Was it preset to you? Default. Rolling? Yeah, I roll with left. Uh, actually, I find that much easier rolling with uh, left. Because it allows me to... It means that when I'm uh, flying, it means that I just... The actual camera movement... I, you know, aiming up, down, left, right is all on one step. Yeah, yeah, I'm just not... Because uh, I... Stay mobile. We don't want any collisions. Oh, yeah, I see what you're talking about. 
Yeah, you know, so I didn't realize. Inside, you forget how big our star destroyers really yeah, are. Uh, it my mind. Hmm. But yeah, like, um, no, but like, those ships to the right of this Star Destroyer, you see those in Battlefront uh, 2, because that's what um, Inferno Squad are based on. Uh, yeah, this is actually kind of cool that they've taken, I mean, granted, this is an asset reuse, effectively, from Battlefront 2. Yeah. But still, it's just nice to see more of them. Nothing wrong in reusing assets if they work. Yeah, but I mean, we're in an earlier point in the timeline, and it would make sense the Empire would have had more of them. And, like, just the sheer number of Quasar carriers here. I believe yeah. that this is their first video game appearance? Uh, I don't know. Because like, I don't recall them appearing in Battlefront 2. Compare, you know, so... Hey, it's, again, we, there, there was bound to be more of them in existence, that Phoenix Squadron would not have caught the only one that existed. Oh, you've got the little uh, support ships we saw throughout Rebels. Yeah. Yeah, the little recon, more like recon carriers in a way. Because they only, what was it, like, I think they had like six docking points on it. Uh, but yeah, was the main point is still like it's it was only used like for like I'd say for reconnaissance and whatnot. So you know, it's not bad. Still gonna ultimately say at the end of the day, the game sucks because they didn't put my favourite um, fighter in it. Which does exist at this point in the timeline. So, you know, they don't have an excuse. Where's my B wings? I would have actually have said a B wing would have made more sense than a U wing. Yeah, I know, but I guess also because what? Because yeah, B Wing is designed for blowing friggin' starships apart. Yeah, that, that's the thing. They, they needed four types of fighters which they could sort of differentiate from each other but have sort of mirrors on the other side so you have like the standard. Yeah. I mean, the TIE Defender forms the exact same role as the B Wing. Uh, the Defender? Yeah. They were an entire plot point in Rebels. I Those were like the Tri-Wing ties that Thrawn was creating. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so, I mean, they have the standard ones. Which Ooh, we've also got the carriers from Rogue One. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I am just enjoying the moment of being like, oh yeah, there's that. Boo! Those TIE Fighters are not painted by a certain Mandalorian! Sorry. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, you have like four different fighters. Yeah, I know. But like I say, like, B-Wing and TIE Defender would form the same role because they're both armed similarly, so... I know, but like that's what I say. That I'm just saying that that would have been the partnering. You know, B wing partnered with the uh, defender. Obviously, they do. Interesting. Uh, 
Move the dairy. Oh yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah, you spotted the thing that I messaged you about, but obviously other people watching won't be aware. Um Yeah, I'll be honest, this bit kind of confused me at first. Yeah, just target the ship by just tapping it, and then you'll see on the thing it's the scanning. You don't have to press anything else. If you're just in range, it'll scan. That bit's always confused me, though. Uh, but yeah, the um. So yeah, like notice thing that um, apparently PS5 games are coming out before the PS5 is available over here. Which is completely silly. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's. Just, I mean, I get why. Like, you know, um, even though obviously the idea would have been, you know, like for the Spider-Man game to come out on both PS4 and 5 at the same time, but with us getting it a week late. But. Last turret. That should do right there. Good shooting, pilot. No reputation will never recover from this. Top of the morning, if you're uh. not medic, then if you Hey, Doc Medic, how are you doing? Yeah, so it's just the whole trying to remember all the controls at once thing. Yeah. 
in your vision. Just that, it's uh, jeez. I just don't like the. <laughs> you got you got the idea though that it comes from turning. You're gonna drop your yeah. uh, speed to half to be able to turn faster. Yeah, no, but it's just the fact that I roll so much. Sorry, swapping the controls back around. You might find that you don't roll. No, no, I, I, did, I, I didn't change him in the end. Oh, right. Uh, come on. Try and hit. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Yeah, I mean, like. <laughs> it, it's. Definitely a uh, yeah. I got one without even locking onto it. Yeah, this is much easier without locking on. Should he just? I think I just destroyed one by ramming it. It's on my tail. Where are you? <laughs> like I was telling me to cycle targets. Yeah, I, I know where it is. Just. I knew, knew it was there, it was just trying to line up with it. Yeah. yeah, how are you doing, um, Dog Medic? Turn backwards. Uh. Yeah, it, it, it was like I said, it's just learning the controls. Yeah. But as I was saying, it's like, Spider-Man somewhat makes sense because of the whole um, situation with it being a PS4 game as well. Hmm? Oh, great. Wait, we got a trailer? Uh, mash any button. I. Oh.
Why did they? Why did you get the cool tie that belonged to the order, the order Inquisitoris? I think that's actually meant to be a failure. Yeah. You're not meant to actually. Oh, okay. Well, that's another um, Inquisitor tie that the Rebellion has got their hands on. Not like they need a second one. Ooh, Blue Squadron. Oh, Echo Squadron, you know, blue colour, so that's the... At that point, they do seem to more have been going off colours rather than particular names for their squads. Can I get reassigned, please? I want to join Phoenix Squadron, whatever's left of it. Agbar, you need to get a better hologram. Super, super fast. No, I mean, the, the hologram just was a bit choppy. That's what I'm saying is he just needs a better hologram. I mean, look, we need to... We need his um, communications to be perfectly clear when there is a trap. Close the S falls, and we're going to go to hyperspace. Oh, there we go. Well, I actually like the uh, like cold effects around the windows. She kind of cool. They are cool. Okay. Steady. Hold. Now, fire all boost 
No, not five, not number five. Why is it always the one that has the number five that has all the bad things happen to them? Not even a pilot. Think about what happened to fives. Hmm? Well, Fives actually uncovered the Order 66 conspiracy, but got killed before he could warn the Jedi. Completely gunned down mercilessly as well when he was, yeah. Yeah, you ties don't have shields. Ooh, ooh, that was a... Come on. <laughs> I can make the... Come on, I'm trying to flip them off my tail and they don't flip. Okay, that's what those green orbs were. It just did the repair though, again. to repair the whole game and you didn't take it right away. Every freaking time I look at it, it just passes me. Got it. Squadron. 
Okay. Just come on, flip. Where are they? Oh wow, I'm freaking on the underside of it. I wonder why it looked weird. Hey, Susie. Heading towards a star destroyer again, facing its turrets this time. Hello, Susie. It's okay. Oh, it's coming. coming. Well, not fast enough. Oh, yeah, we have to do one thing to um, make a certain um, rabbit prowl. Barrel roll! Barrel roll. Wait, well, there's no. Peppy and things like that. No, it's not Peppy. I think it's Falcon that wants the fire roll. I'm done with the tutorial segment. Oh, there is one more tutorial to do, technically. Mm. If you want to do the multiplayer, um, if you want to do like, the multiplayer bit. Yeah. Although you can just go straight to 5v5 if the fleet battles with the other tutorial. But obviously you want to do Obviously you want us to do that one, because that's like yeah. the better one to do. Yeah. Oh jeez, I am smoking. Hey Joe. I can see why this game would actually is, probably, is meant to be really good in VR. Yeah, it's pretty much the fine Yeah. Like, even the hub, even the hub bit. Uh, like during the campaign, even that you can tell was designed for VR in mind. Mm. Especially when some of the characters look at you in ways 
and make you feel good first. Especially when you get looked at by the Trandoshan press. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them having it, um... No, there's nothing wrong with it being uh VR focused. Yeah. I mean VR needs all the help it can get. So yeah, I imagine this game do all from VR. Come on, destroy the thing. There we go. Yeah, how, are you, how are you doing, Joe and Susie? Speed. bad bit of intro I think. I the fact they're using like the campaign as the tutorial because that's something I do find some games just they make the camp yeah, the tutorials just feel disjointed from the campaign. Mm. Yeah and then four years later. Well is it earlier? Yeah. Yeah you play the game yeah the campaign takes place four years before the uh, the, 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 the actual tutorial that you play that takes place four years before the rest of it. Mm. Ah, okay. Oh, Susie, um, something fun for you to do, um, which well, I've shown this to Alex, but you can go look this up yourself if you're up for a little bit of fun. Yeah, either of you been up to much anyway. I mean, look, we know how it's going to turn out for the New Republic. Um, so, circle then, the main menu. Speaking of the New Republic, uh, there is actually a location that you visit in the uh, campaign, uh, which I don't think we've ever actually uh, seen up close before. Which world is that? Osmium Prime. No, well, no, you get that little scene in um, Force Awakens. Yeah, I know. When you get blown to the ring, but we yeah. I also think there might have been some... Uh, no, I think there was some, like, flashback scenes on it in, um... Resistance. Yeah, maybe. But, uh, you actually get to fly above it. Right, Fleet Battle Tutorial. Yep. You do get, uh, some skins as well for completing this. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, Susie. Um, go on to Game's website... If you want to jump into Discord so you can quickly let me know um, when you find these bits, that'd be helpful. On to game. Are on your lap then. Not let 
Well then put mm, put her on the bed. She likes the pillow. Can I point out there is an error right away now? What? Wrong model of X-Wing. Because uh -huh. New Republic used different X-Wings to the Rebellion. Yeah. Though I'm willing to let it slide because, you know, this is a game made on the cheap. Reusing assets from previous bits. So... Was made on the cheap. Yeah, and it, yeah, for a cheap game, it, yeah, for, well, I say cheap, it's still, you know, from a big, expensive, you know, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so Susie, so, I want you to go and, uh, So, so these, um... Need to look up... Well, first off, look on the PS5's um, own page. The actual console page, okay? Focus on this fight. Lost sight. No. Uh, but yeah, so like I say, uh, look on the PS5's um, page. Okay, right, you right, you can see it's got a release date of um You can see it's got over uh, the release date, yeah, for November nineteenth. Right, now I want you to go and search... Oh, wait, wrong, wrong control stick. Um, 
search up. Um, so in the search bar at the very top, look up. Um, um, I don't know what. Yeah, look up. Um, just type in Spider Man. Yeah, I am pulling back game. Just... Yeah, okay, so look up Spider Man Miles Morales on PS4. Not PS4, sorry, PS5. Yeah. Now search demon souls. the hangar. Yeah, I'm trying to reach the hangar. Yeah, we're getting PS5 games release before the PS5 launches. I really hope that's not the case because I do not want to make two trips to game. Auxiliaries? How do you switch auxiliaries? Um... Can't, at the moment, you do that uh, before, but, you know, outside of the game. Oh, during setup. Yeah, you, yeah, you free to turn, like, what you want to have as your thing, okay. essentially. But yeah, it's uh... yeah. Why? You know, it's just so weird that we're getting the PS5 games. I mean, obviously, it's matching where the US date is.
Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, double tap. Okay. Hello, where are those turrets? Oh, fudge. That's a rip. Yeah. Quite see the thing. Actually, kind of cool though, the whole switching between different power. Um, configurations. Thank you. 
back inside the shield. What is hitting me? And flip. Okay, um, destroy the power system I have. Why can I not, why is it, is it glitched out? Um, did you attack, did you destroy the power system? It's, underneath? yeah, that's what I've been attacking. Uh, and that's what it's telling me to destroy. Well, it's been telling me the entire uh, time to attack. Yeah, this is what happens. Did you destroy anything else on the, um, on the Star Destroyer before... No. So you didn't take out anything above? Oh, a turret? Did you take out anything else above it? Not that I'm aware of. Uh, can you fly around so I can check? Okay, let me just stop that one. Uh, dead turrets, dead turret. Oh, uh, big turrets. Uh. Yeah, just loads of dead turrets up here. Ah, uh, see that destroyed thing there? That bit in the middle? Uh huh? Turn around. Mm. Oh, was see I not. That on fire there? Oh, that bit just. That, that's one of the weak points, that bit there. Mm. That, yeah, that, yeah, having been taken out before the power systems is what's called this. Main menu. You can see what I mean by when it happened to me, it was a bit, like, wait, what? Yeah, can I also point out, though, that the AI was firing there? So, the... AI? I, I mean, I'd probably hit that as well when trying to go for turrets, but the AI had also attacked it, so I kind of got a bit screwed over by the by the game itself. Yeah. See, you can see what I mean, though. I mean... Yeah, yeah. but I mean, but at the same time, they've got to take... Uh, when the AI can do it, 
that's where it really gets unfair. Because then it can be done by something that isn't even your point. Um, it isn't. It can be done by something that isn't even your. Sorry, uh, uh, that isn't even your fault. Yep, that's how it is. Irritatingly. Hmm. Hmm. Oh uh, yeah, that really does need a patch. Yep, it definitely does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. though now why I was saying yeah there's a bug with it mm -hmm. gotta be careful I don't think that's everything is a bug I just think that was just programming thing didn't take into account I mean technically that's still a bug because it's not something to uh, a uh, bug is more uh, more uh, there's a difference between I'd say an error and a bug Because bugs are unintentional. You know, con. You know, that's all I mean, though. It's more. It was meant to be a. Uh... Yeah, I mean, like, they're, yeah, they're, they're because something else has gone wrong. know about uh, fixing your skills uh, up a little bit. Mm -hmm. All like, you know, yeah. uh, change the direction of the skills. Don't think they've given me that info. Old square. Ah, uh, yeah. The C, the C you can flip them to either your battery or somewhere if they're necessary. Yeah. If you're flying, if you're
go down Y wing. Definitely felt more comfortable in a Y wing than an X wing. Yeah, I personally quite like the um, uh, one of the weapons that you can get for the Y wing. I mean, they say left wing. Um, not that one. Hmm. No, there is one major downside to the Y wing that I'm not keen on, as opposed to the X wing. That being uh, obviously you can't see it on here, but the, the X wings can have a um, hull repair ability, mm. but um, but the Y wing cannot. So if you're in trouble and you really need to heal up, you can't do that. Especially when you're like dropping bombs on places. It's I really wish they had like a little bomb of a bomb view function. A what view? The way to know where your bombs are going. Oh yeah, yeah, that would be handy. They though they drop. Uh, they they fly in the direction I'm below you. So regardless, so so whatever direction you're facing, you know, they'll always fly beneath you. Hmm. It'd just be useful if they. Uh... Oh yeah, the little like computer screen that told you where your bombs are going. on the wreckage.
Go! Spot it wants me to blow up. Uh, that's destroy any weak spot. Uh. So that's like, there, there are four weak spots on a star destroyer. You have the power system, but you have the two shield, uh, the mitters on top. The mitters on top, and then you have. Okay, the look, oh, come on! Sorry, I was pressing heal and my. and I. And the game wouldn't let me heal, even though my thing was full for healing. Don't have any healing. Oh, I thought that. No, what's that meter on the left at the top of the um, cockpit screen? Left top. About. Hill one. Oh, that thing. You mean the red bar? That's no, red you, I've got those three me things in the middle. Oh, yeah, but the middle one is. Uh... Uh, the left one is the uh, engine, and the right one is shield. It doesn't heal you, it just, you know, it speeds up shield recovery. That's, that's all it does. Pressing the wrong button. At this point in the tutorial, you just gotta destroy the star destroyer. Where's the bridge? There it is. No, I can't blow the bridge up. You can damage it. You can definitely damage it. Eh, <laughs> uh, I'm accepting that I blew the bridge up there because it went to the cutscene <laughs> as I was striking the bridge. <laughs> Don't take away my head cannon. <laughs> It's my head cannon, my victory. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, skip. Okay, so there's only one thing I've noticed that is a little bit of a um, thing. Which is? How do you play with friends? 
Uh, I do not know at the moment. Because this has obviously got... Yeah, um, does this game not... Press the D-pad? Oh, okay. So, stop. It's, uh, not... No, get out of ma- oh, okay. Get out of matchmaking, okay. Right, I'm... Main... Oh, okay. This is... EA, there you are. Oh, you're offline. At the moment, yeah. Yeah. The one thing that actually had me wondering for a moment is it never asked me to log in with my EA account, so it was just a case of... Wait, how am I meant to play with you if it's never asked me to log in? Yeah. But I guess maybe because I have used uh, my EA account with uh, other games on my PS4, it just found that was linked already and was like, oh, hello. Yeah, probably. I, I'm i torn because, obviously, A, I mean, it's helpful, but B, I kind of wish it asked me first. I don't know, it's just that sort of thing of, it's nice if it doesn't do it right away. Yeah. I'm just... Give a second when you get in. Uh, actually, let's just look at the uh, customization. Actually, work all this out. Uh, yeah, so you can actually. So, if you want to customize the pilot, it's that little bit to the right. If you want to customize the fighter, you need to do it on the X. Yeah. You have to click on the fighter. Oh yeah, we now unlock uh, different. Um... Yeah, just a few, but you need to uh, get a lot of. Uh, oh yeah. For those different helmets as well. Yeah, there's a lot more customization, but you gotta do a lot of stuff. <laughs> Even get a um, training helmet for force users. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm just launching squadrons, so it might take a little yeah. bit. Yeah, so I just. Yeah, we're well, just seeing you that. Can do the, First um, mission on campaign, if you want. Mm. Whilst, uh, whilst my game's loading. Yeah. Let's not waste any time. Mm. I kind of find it hilarious that you can make your character look feminine but have a male voice. Hmm. I mean, um... Yeah, you can see the whole repair um, ability there. Yeah, okay, I thought it was just... That, that's one of the things I do really like to have on. But obviously, um, the Y-Wing and the Bomber don't have that, which is unfortunate. Because they have one of my favourite weapons, which is mm. this um, 
sort of triple beam sort of thing. Yeah, and I have to. It was like a charge up uh, time, but when when it's fully charged, it just beams. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Can do open that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Let's see how much time uh, my food's gonna be ready in. Yeah. Be right back. Okay. We post in the order. Yeah, at least the sub. Yeah, I don't think I haven't commented. At least the subtitles are a good size. I'm not one of the speeches, so I'll just say I'm honored to assume command of the Temperance in his hands. Vanguard Squadron's reputation for bravery and integrity. Okay. Yeah, my game actually has loads of that, but okay. Ah, hmm. there you are. Our doctor says to expect you. I'm the Realm of the Sage, Chief Mechanic, and this here's the Temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. Speaking of, here's the rest of your squadron. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. You see what I mean by like, this little you hub bit? Definitely. Happy to have you on the team. Mm. Has a Let's talk VR about in mind. Yep. You're joining one of the best outfits in the New Republic. Welcome to I'm joining the best outfit in the New Republic. The new. Um, where's. Oh, what's her name? Poe's mum. Yeah. Like. That would mean you're in the best squadron. Huh. Right. Excellent. Otto, meet our new Vanguard guy. Oh, the one who saved your skin at Foster Haven. Otto Baradai, Fleet Intelligence. A pleasure. I heard mm -hmm. to to okay, now I just want to skip and go back to the main menu. Let's try and do it multiplayer because we've only got half an hour left, so. I mean, I say the tutorial was pretty decent for like getting a basis with story as well a little bit. I mean, yeah, obviously it was set earlier, but it was good enough. Yeah. Right, right. now, I don't know how you would invite people. Hold on. Sent you an invite. Ne, 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 ne. Go. All right then. So, uh, 
Yeah. There we go, so we'll just find us, I assume, three more people. Wait, did you go quick match or did you go... Oh, uh, fleet? multiplayer and training. Well, I went fleet battle versus AI. Yeah, that one, yeah. That, that's the one I, I think would be best to play. Yeah, like I say, we'll just find us th uh, three more people, won't it? Just do. Mm. Mm. I almost kind of wish that they let you play the campaign co-op. Yeah, that's... Uh. I think what would be really good, though, is if they... If you recall, in, like, Call of Duty... Uh, World War 2... They have these um, operation mission sort of things where, like, depending on what side you're on, depends on what your objective is. Like, one side would be, like, make sure you push your tank. Oh, yeah, I, see, I saw those sort of things, yeah. Yeah. If there was something like that in this, I think that would work really well. Yeah. And it is a pity that this is basically a one and done. Uh, at least as far as I remember it being mentioned that there is no post-launch support other than, you know, just patching the game. Yeah. It's, it's taking a while to find... Yeah. Oh, there we go. I, I like to say... <laughs> I mean, there's like when we... Remember when I mentioned to you, like, after the game got announced, uh, like, when they were talking about things, I was wondering if we were going to get, like, a sort of siege in space battle scenario as well yeah that sort of fits in with the you know, like you say where each side has different objectives yeah that would have been cool but mm. i mean they could they they could they have no plans or you know i mean put it this way i think if this does at least decent enough it might you know have ea look at making a sequel which goes more out Um. Uh, what? I don't have a lot of these things unlocked, so I need more requisitions. I know. Uh, um. So that does mean like, I don't actually have the things I want right off the bat, so I'm just going to go with the next wing. Yeah, because if I had the bombs on the Y wing, I'd be fine for something like this. I mean, you do have the bombs, that's the thing. No, you don't. Hey, look, we can see all the other players. No, you don't have the bombs. You have uh, homing rockets. Oh. Yeah, the, the silly thing there was, I noted that the tutorial gives you um, a proton bomb equipped Y-Wing. Yet that is not the Y wing you um, start with, which I think is a, a little bit of a cheek. But then Y wings are most common, which and especially yeah, with Y wings most commonly known for being bombers, you think you start with the bombs. Oh well. Mm. But yeah, as I was saying, if this game at least so has sold well enough, um, you know, like I said, maybe we'll get like some sort of sequel where they can properly expand it into a from this sort of you know like basic game construct into a full blown thing. No. No, it's in player left. Yeah, yeah, loading up a level time down and I was removed from the map. Gosh! Wait, you were? Yeah, I was removed. No, I'll go back. Uh, game, why? No, don't do this. Why, why have to done this? 
Rejoin match to avoid, avoid abandonment penalties. Wait, does it give you the option to rejoin match? No. Abandon match. It's on your party as well. Yeah. Why did, why did it break back like then? I don't know. Let's try again. I'm actually wait until the second time. Go. Hopefully this works then. Hopefully. Oh, uh, yeah. This time. Oh boy. It's weird because I have you as an EA uh, as an Origin friend, and then you as an EA friend as well. I think uh, just being listed as EA friend is. Um, the way it's handling PS4, Xbox One connectivity. Probably, yeah. Because, like I say, you just link, you're just linked to your EA account. Because I believe it just said EA friend for you, rather, and then obviously I had PS4 friends. I do wonder if, uh, if it's because I'm on Discord. Or... I don't know. Because um, when I was on Discord the other day, and I was doing Squad Squadrons, for some reason the game was like, lagging a lot. It was mm. weird. Alright, I've read it up. Because, yeah, right auxiliary, multi, multi-lock missile. Multi-lock missile's actually really good, to be fair. Hmm. Oh, no, the proton bomb is there, it's just not a defaultly equipped thing. Weird that the proton bomb is not your default um, weapon, uh, you know, as all secondary weapon. Susie, you still there? So yeah, I never did get to ask your word. Yeah, how ha um how have the kiddies been today? Player left. Yes, who? Yeah, he doesn't want to let you do this, does it? I think it's Discord, honestly. Well, I'm gonna do the. My game was lagging, and I wasn't even online. It's Discord. Like when I was just in the call with you doing the campaign mode, the game was just lagging a lot. Hmm. I'm gonna just do it this time because of the time, so. Sure.
What the heck? Okay, come on. What the sh Certain this is versus the AI. Like the they make this so much harder. Getting just yeah, like the AI, even in easy, is relentless. Uh, that, that is not easy mode AI. Jeez. Yeah, like there you go. They just ramp this up so hard.
come on! I'm just, I just... Mm. These freaking, these are not AI, this is definitely actual other people. Because... Jeez, my shields just went... Eek! What the heck? Shields just destroyed in a second. is ridiculous I, I don't get like the AI is behaving much rougher than it, it should be for an easy mode game I'm just a victim of missile attack all the freaking time. Uh, no, I didn't because no, I never got taught that. Oh. Well, circle will deploy your. Um, yeah, there's plenty that they don't teach you, which is kind of important. Yeah, I mean, they teach you throughout the. Still got some shields up. 
Yeah, I went inside the shield before I dropped the bombs. Come on! Come on! Like, literally, I... What's the point of being in the most tanky ship when the shields mean nothing? Hmm? Why wings are meant to be tanks? Yeah, and that's what I was just saying. My shield is just obliterated instantly. I mean, I, I take a hit and I take a hit and almost all my shield is wiped. And all my health just goes in a couple of hits. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but like, I, as soon as I deployed it was doing that though. But uh, at this, they've just, the AI has just been dominating us. That's the problem. Where is the health bar of this friggin' thing? Yeah, I got... Okay, really? It killed me and I was out of its weapons firing arcs. But like I say, like the AI, this is not AI we're playing against, this is definitely other players. Let's do this right. Yeah, they've been dominating us. Oh, the game's finally realised you're not actually in the mission anymore. Previously, your silhouette was still white. Now it's actually made you red. Shield. Uh, yeah. I am trying, and I am. I'm just obliterated by everything else that's around. Okay, that's now dead. But yeah, it's just I get destroyed just by nothing. Tractor beamed? How do I deal with that? How do I deal with a tractor beam? Um, so there's two ways. One, you can either shoot the, um, the things that are the actual tractor beam. Bit. Yeah, but again, what's the point of a tutorial if they then throw things at you that you never encountered before? A tutorial is meant to teach you the mechanics of the game. And it's just a case of, nah, joke's on you. We're not um, going to teach you everything. Yeah, I'll be honest, I learned about the tragedy being pretty lazy for campaign. That's just... I'm sorry, but yeah, like, I know this game is made on the cheap, but come on. Now basically, there are two dishes that are pointing.
doesn't help the surgeon, like I said, the Y wing is the slowest. Obviously. Yeah, but that's always been the way that the Y wing is portrayed. Lock on! Oh, come on, game. Lock on to the things! Okay, I'm pressing to lock on and the game won't lock on. It's locking on to your, your main ship. <sighs> Targeting objectives. If you want to target... AI. Uh, yeah, I'm targeting... Okay, now I'm set to targeting. But that was a freaking waste. Uh, I'm sorry, but yeah, no, this game does suck, actually. Like, this is called easy mode. No, it's not. It's called, this is basically Dark Souls mode. Or, nah, you're not actually playing against the AI, we lie. You're actually against other players. Yeah, we lost. You were not AI. <laughs> well, at least AI for easy mode. Invite me and we'll try this again, I guess. Mm. See, if, see if I can do any better. And see if I can actually get in this time. That was kind of irritating, but now that I've closed Discord down, it might work. Mm. Hey, you got some requisitions at least. Upgrade your uh, Y wing. Mm. But yeah, like that definitely felt so hard of, so hard for an easy mode game. If I were you, if you really want to stick with the Y wing, hmm? get the crux, 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 crux. Rotary cannon cap, ro uh, heavy rotary cannon. Just get, yeah, just get I'm a, ro a heavy rotary cannon for the Y wing. That's that is a really good uh, gun uh, to have on the Y wing, in my opinion. Uh, or if you just want to auto lock on, you can go with the guided one, because that one will automatically mm -hmm. hit anything within the circle. Uh, so it'll, so if you, even if you're firing straight ahead mm -hmm. of the yeah. Things a little bit off. But it just yeah. does less damage. Uh, yeah, a lot less. Yeah. It does less damage, but you're basically guaranteed to hit if you're struggling on like hitting. Yeah. Hmm. But my personal favorite is the heavy work. Yeah, because uh, I'm not saying anything. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Bear in mind, ion cannon. That's just that's mainly damage on the shield. Like yeah. It really do anything uh, to the actual hull. Yeah. Which really is mm. Rock on missiles. I perhaps select either the multi lock on. Have on or go with the multi-lock on missiles are defaultly unlocked. As I mentioned, that was weird that yeah. they were. I do really, honestly, they are quite good. Just to clear out, just you know, some enemies. Mm. I do quite like. Them. All right, I can have both actually, left auxiliary and right auxiliary. I need to have the. Yeah, yeah you can swap. You can have both the bombs and the lock on mm. missiles. Hmm. Um. So like make yourself tankier, but that'll probably make you slower. Or you can make yourself faster, but that'll make you less tanky. Uh, <coughs> uh, no, hold on. If I increase shields, I'm going to decrease my health. Maximum health up. It's a lot of time. Uh, shields. That'll slow your turning. In. Uh, so much taste. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, geez, no, I do not want that. Yeah. No shield regen if completed? Yeah, no. Okay. I oh. like having shields. And then the engines, which will, you know, do things. Lower my shielding. So it's up to you which sort of, like, where you want to build your ship. Well, I mean, y wings not that fast or maneuverable in the first place. So increasing my health. I'll say maneuvering is turning. Yeah, but like I say, y wings are already bad at that. <laughs> Again, we're dealing with a ship that's just designed to go around in a. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I kind of wish we had, like, the phoenix symbol in here. Oh, that was the starbirds, yeah. All the different versions of it. <laughs> they can have weird little holograms. <laughs> Bobblehead type things. Just decoration. Jeez. Anyway, I'm going to end the stream here anyway, so... Uh, Xenoblade tomorrow. But yeah, like, uh, that was just... I did not feel right for what the game mode was meant to be. Yeah, just don't quit, because I'd like to... Yeah, to okay. But yeah, um, but yeah, Xenoblade tomorrow, so follow on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, and catch you next time. Night.